Every day I'm learning that the real flex is just being in love with yourself and ignoring the world and knowing that you the sh and that you can make it out of anything. So here I am, day by day. Story of 31-year-old Jade Guajardo, a mother of two children who love to travel and live her life to the fullest. One day Jade would decide to give her ex-boyfriend, the father of her children, a ride home, a decision that would result in her tragically losing her life in a brutal way. This crime left her community in shock and her friends and loved ones devastated. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, the vibrant and eclectic capital of the Lone Star State, is a city that pulsates with a unique energy. Nestled along the banks of the Colorado River, Austin is renowned for its live music scene, cultural diversity, and a thriving tech industry. 31-year-old Jade, born on November 5, 1991, was a woman of warmth and adventure. Raised by her mother and stepfather, Marlon Guzman, she developed a passion for travel and connecting with new faces. Jade's zest for life extended to her roles as a loving mother to her sons, Elijah and Christian. Can you to the tubing and, and can you the tubing and that's it? Yeah, I'll send it to Bridget. After relocating to Austin, she would often drive to Flugerville to spend quality time at her father Abel's home, surrounded by the embrace of family and friends. Jade Guajardo's role as a mother was the heartbeat of her joy, radiating through every moment spent with her two beloved boys, Elijah and Christian. We are going on a little adventure. Let's go take a full walk outside, okay? <laughs> okay. Her devotion to motherhood went beyond the ordinary, it was a vibrant celebration of the unfiltered joy that came with raising children. Through the videos she shared online, Jade painted a vivid canvas of her family life, especially during cherished occasions like Christmas. In videos capturing impromptu dance parties or playful moments of silliness, it was evident that the true essence of happiness for Jade lay in the simple yet profound bond she shared with her sons. Jade Guajardo, beyond being a cherished mother and a vibrant soul, was a multi-talented individual who excelled in various beauty and wellness services. Her skills extended to the realm of aesthetics, offering meticulous waxing services, intricate eyelash enhancements, therapeutic massages that provided relaxation and rejuvenation, and the precise artistry of retwisting dreadlocks. Jade's passion for beauty extended beyond her professional endeavors, she was deeply immersed in the worlds of makeup and fashion. Known for her innate sense of style, she embraced her own beauty with confidence, frequently sharing captivating images online that showcased her makeup artistry and fashion-forward ensembles. Jade's online presence became a platform not only for her professional work, but also for self-expression and empowerment, reflecting her belief in the importance of feeling beautiful both inside and out. Jade's baby's father was Devante Fox. The two had a tumultuous relationship. They were no longer in a relationship but remained in each other's lives for the sake of their child. Apparently the two would often argue and fight, resulting in the authorities being called. Despite her troubles with her baby's father, Jade did her best to move on with her life. Jade enjoyed the night life. She often went out with friends to have a good time and enjoy life. Jade embraced the role of a bottle girl, injecting vibrancy into the nightlife scene with her magnetic presence. Jade faced some tough times when she found out her thyroid surgery revealed cancer. A lot of people do not know this, but after my thyroid surgery, um, the pathology test came back and it was cancer. So I finally went through my radioactive treatment yesterday. I have a new profound admiration for people that have cancer um, and have to go through chemo and radiation every day, every week. Whatever the case may be, I thank God that mine is less aggressive. Um, I don't have to go through this. Pray to Jesus. This is my last time. Um, but it's it's unbelievable. So to the people that didn't already know, and some of y'all just be wondering, do I have cancer or not? Um, I had already had thyroid surgery. So that was already removed. But the radioactive treatment did work. Um, it did what it was supposed to do. The cancer didn't spread anywhere else. And yeah, anyways, you know, life's great. <laughs> Still good. Jade openly shared her journey with cancer on social media, turning her personal struggle into something inspiring for others. 
However, the warmth of Jade's presence was abruptly extinguished by a harrowing domestic disturbance in North Austin. On February 7, at approximately 1.14 p.m., the Austin Police Department responded to a call from Jade, reporting a disturbing incident involving her ex-boyfriend, 31-year-old Devante Fox in the 1000 block of Sweet Melissa Drive in a neighborhood near I-35 and Wells Branch Parkway. She detailed how she was dropping her ex-boyfriend Devante off at his home, and as she attempted to leave, he intentionally flattened her tire. Officers, initially responding to the scene, spoke with Jade, who received a ride and left. Police say officers spoke with Jade over the phone again at around 2.30 p.m., and she was at a different location, and Devante's whereabouts were unknown. The situation took a dark turn later that evening at 7.54 p.m., when officers returned to Sweet Melissa Drive for another disturbance. They received a call from an unknown caller stating there was a disturbance at Devante's home at Sweet Melissa Drive. The caller, not present at the scene, revealed that Devante was involved in a conflict within the home. When authorities arrived, they discovered that Jade had returned to Devante's residence and was being held hostage by him. The gravity of the situation escalated as the Austin Police Department SWAT team responded. Following prolonged negotiations, SWAT forcefully entered the home at 12.14 a.m., discovering Jade and Devante in an upstairs room, both bearing gunshot wounds. Tragically, Jade Guajardo succumbed to her injuries at the scene, while Devante was transported to the hospital with life-threatening wounds. He attempted to end his life. Emergency workers tried to save his life, but he succumbed to this narrative prompts reflection on the profound loss and the potential avenues for prevention. Jade's passing, a result of domestic violence, underscores the urgent need for awareness and intervention. What happened to Jade Guajardo should have never happened. She was trying to help her ex-boyfriend by giving him a ride home, and he turned violent towards her and took her life. We will never know what made Jade decide to call the police on Devante, then return to him after she was removed from the situation. Domestic violence is a complex issue. Victims may return to their abusers due to a mix of psychological manipulation, feelings of guilt, and a distorted sense of normalcy established in the abusive relationship. Sadly her decision to return to an already volatile Devante cost her her life, and now her two boys are without their mother. My condolences to her friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.